Hi everybody, it's Carly and I am here to share with you my seven secrets for successful sleep. Now, if you've ever had trouble falling asleep, trouble staying asleep, I am right there with you. So these are seven little tricks that I use, little changes that I've made to help me get a better night's sleep. And you know, it's probably pretty easy with remote learning right now for you guys to, you know, kind of get out of whack with your sleep schedule, but it's so important that you get a good night's rest before every single day of school, whether it's in person or remote learning. So my first successful sleeping secret is watch your caffeine and sugar intake. So caffeine is a stimulant that can be found in things like coffee, sodas, teas, monster energy drinks, Red Bulls, all those things that the kids are drinking nowadays. And caffeine is a stimulant, so it gets your body going. It wakes you up. It gives you that little burst of energy. Now, I am an avid coffee drinker. I promise everybody that I can drink coffee from sunup to sundown and never feel the effects of caffeine. That's not always the case. If I find that I'm having trouble sleeping, the first thing I do is cut out caffeine after a certain point in the day. So if you want to have coffee or soda or something at some point in the day, that's up to you. But if you notice that you're having trouble sleeping, maybe try cutting that off around 1 or 2 p.m. Just so that you give your body a chance to, to unwind from that stimulant and be able to get a good night's sleep. Another thing that people don't think of is sugar. Sugar, we joke about getting a sugar rush after eating piles of candy and sweet things. And that's really true. Sugar is also a stimulant and it'll get your body going. And that's not always a great thing when you're trying to get better sleep. So keep in mind the amount of sugar that you're eating every single day. Number two, now this one may be hard for some of you high schoolers, especially because I remember myself in high school and I was always doing this. Daytime naps. You are definitely gonna wanna limit your daytime naps if you're noticing that you're having trouble falling asleep at night because you're getting too much. You know, if you come home from school, I get it. You guys walk home from school, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, you just had a long day at school, maybe it's raining outside, you just wanna put on warm, dry clothes and take a little nap after school. That's fine, well, and good, but that may be contributing to some of your sleep problems. So that is another recommendation for me, is limit those daytime naps, even if they are tempting. Moving on to number three, my third sleeping tip for you is to make sure that wherever you're sleeping, you've created a calm environment for yourself. That means, you know, maybe not having any super bright lights near your bed, maybe getting your favorite comforter, getting a candle that smells really nice, anything that you can do to make your sleeping area the most comfortable and calm that you can. Number four, my fourth tip to you is to get your body moving during the day. I know it's probably pretty easy with remote learning to sit on the couch most of the day, sit at your desk, sit on your bed, wherever you're doing your remote learning, but it's also really important that you're getting some exercise. If that's going for a walk around your neighborhood, maybe doing some push-ups or exercises in your room, anything you can do to get your heart rate up and get your body moving because that's gonna help you fall asleep at night. Tip number five, stick to a strict sleep schedule. Now I know sometimes you're gonna to need to get up super early for something or you're going to need to stay up late for an event or whatever it may be, but setting yourself up for success starts with a sleep schedule. So I know for me, I know my body, I need about eight hours of sleep a night to feel rested and to not feel tired the next day. The average person, kids your age, you guys should really be getting about eight or nine hours of sleep a night. So know that if I know that I need to be up at seven in the morning, I'm gonna get in bed nine hours before I need to get up. Why do I do that if I just said I needed eight hours? That's because I know I'm not gonna fall asleep the second my head hits the pillow. This gives me enough time to actually lay in my bed, unwind from the day, relax for a little bit, maybe read a book, and that really gets me set so that I will probably fall asleep in that hour and then have enough time to get a full eight hours of sleep. Now, I know some of you love to stay up late. I've heard this from you yourselves. You guys are like, oh, I love to be a night owl and I stay up super late. That's fine on occasion, but if you're finding yourself being super tired throughout the day, yawning, struggling to get through class, you really need to be diligent about going to bed at a reasonable hour. 
even if you don't fall asleep instantly, taking that time to rest your body is going to just be so beneficial for Number you. Number six. Now, this is a tricky one for me. Number six is manage your stress and your worrying. I can be right there with you. I know how stressful it can be sometimes at night to lay in bed and then start thinking about all the things that happen during the day, different assignments you may have. But the best thing you can do is try and decompress every single day. Now, the easiest way I have found to do that is journaling. By keeping a journal, you can make notes throughout the day of things that are going on, things that are stressing you, things that you're worrying about, and then it's out on the paper and it doesn't need to be in your mind when you are trying to sleep at night. And it's super helpful. Um, it's not gonna solve every problem. <laughs> you know, you're still gonna have those worries that pop up. But it's a great way to relax and you'll be surprised how writing something out on paper, how that can really calm you and kind of take it out of your mind for the night. So definitely try journaling or meditating or anything you can do to relax at and night. And number seven, my last secret for this series, my sleep series, if you will, love those alliterations. My seventh tip is probably one of the most important and one of the ones that you're gonna find the hardest to do. I know I do. And that is turn the screens off. You know, we are all connected to our phones, to our tablets, to our Chromebooks, to our TVs, you name it. Um, I'm addicted to Christmas movies this time of year, so I've been watching a lot of those until late in the night. And, you know, it's not good for your body to have the blue light that comes from electronics, to have that in your eyes right up until you go to bed. You know, that blue light will stimulate your brain, it'll get your brain working, and that is on a good, good way to unwind. So a rule that you should try and follow, you know, the biggest rule you should really do is say no electronics in your bedroom. You know, you're not gonna have any sort of phone usage in your bed, you're not gonna watch any TV in your bed. It's probably not the most realistic for a lot of you. I know I struggle with that too. So what I do is I set a rule for myself. An hour before I sleep, so you know, we talked about it a little bit earlier, my sleep schedule, an hour before I plan to sleep, I'm gonna turn my phone off and I'm going to eliminate those blue lights, whether that's I'm gonna read for a little bit, maybe listen to a podcast, listen to music that calms me down. Anything like that is a good alternative to staring at a screen where it's just gonna stimulate your mind more. So try and turn your electronic devices off at least one hour before you go to sleep. So those are my seven secrets for a successful night of sleep. And hopefully at least one or two of those will help you guys feel a little bit more rested, will help you get on the right track with a sleep schedule. I know it's tricky, uh, but it is really important that you are resting your body and getting yourself ready for the next day. Thanks so much. Bye guys.